There are currently 35 million people living with AIDS worldwide. Still, there are many misconceptions about this disease. Yeah, and to explain to us the differences, the effects and the symptoms of AIDS, we have Danka, who is a Dutch doctor who lived and worked in a lot of AIDS-affected regions. Danka, what is the exact difference between AIDS and HIV? So HIV stands for the Human Immunodeficiency Virus. So it's a virus just like the flu, only this virus the body isn't able to get rid of. So um, also the virus replicates itself by destroying your immune cells. And once your immune system becomes weakened, you will uh, be able to get um, sick from diseases and infections you would normally not get sick of. So once that happens, your HIV infection has uh, progressed to AIDS. And AIDS often um, leads to death quite rapidly. So what are some of the symptoms of H and HIV? Um, most people will experience some flu-like symptoms in the first, after the first two months. So they will get fever, um, muscle pain, joint pains. Um, but sometimes these, these symptoms only start years or even a decade after, after you get infected. So we always say the most common symptoms for HIV infection in the early stage is no symptoms. And that's why it's very important to get tested, especially if you've had unprotected sex. And if you are infected, how can you live with the disease? Um, well, not everybody who has HIV will progress to AIDS. Um, we always explain to patients that we are not able to, to cure them from HIV, but we can try to um, bring the HIV virus to sleep in the body. And once it's asleep, um, you, are not able, you will not get sick from the, from the virus. Um, so we do that with the antiretroviral therapy, which is a, a, a therapy consisting of three drugs. So if you take it every day, in an early stage of HIV infection, you will not progress to uh, AIDS and your life expectancy will be normal. Thank you for sharing your expertise, Danka. And for more videos on AIDS, go to www.interconnection.com.